I just want to welcome everybody to another edition of Mission Impossible. Mission Possible uh, with Javel and Kaz. Uh, we do this. We try to do it at least uh, once a month, but obviously we've been lagging a, a little bit because of playoffs. I mean, you were in the playoffs, so hey, unfortunately you guys got out sooner than you wanted to. But you know, um, talk to me about the playoffs and how that how that was for you and you going through it. What is this your your fifth time, sixth time going through this playoff experience? Uh, I mean, I don't know what um, what time, how many times I've been in play. You've been doing it a lot, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's way more than five. It's probably like seven or eight. But uh, yeah, man. It, I mean, it was experience. Um, I mean, I didn't I didn't play a lot, so I didn't really get to do what I wanted to do. But uh, um, just being a good good team player and making sure that uh, I'm there for my teammates. Um, as a veteran leader, and uh, we we didn't make it out. So right now, the team we lost to is in the finals. Right, right. Um, that we had the pleasure. You and I actually got to go to the game yesterday, man. Yeah, talk today, to the game, man. I, I think, yeah, talk to me a little bit about that. It was in the box. Uh, it was a vibe. Uh, we had some important people in the box, you know, just doing what we do. Um, some Definitely making some good business endeavors. Um, but it was a good game. Yeah, that crowd in Phoenix is crazy. Uh, yeah, they're going crazy over there, for sure. Do you, do, you, who, do you have Phoenix taking it? Do you have Milwaukee taking it? I, uh, uh, what I do say, you think? Say, I say Phoenix in five. You got Phoenix in five, man. Phoenix in five. Man, Gian, Gian, hey, Giannis left it all out on the court, too. He got like, yeah. 42 or something, 41. Like, it's crazy, though. Like, Giannis, like, he'll miss – he'll get 41 and miss, like, eight free throws. So, like <laughs> – Right. Get at 50 ball. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I, I'm more excited. I want to see Chris get his first one. So I'm, I'm on that on that hype on that story, man. Yeah, I think I definitely NBA. That's a great story for the NBA. It, it, it needs to be. It needs to be a thing. He's he's been working so hard his whole career. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely time, and especially the way they playing this year. God dang. Right. So. For those of you guys who are just joining us, uh, my name is Kez Reed. I'm the co-founder of the Jedi Life Foundation. Uh, JaVel McGee, he's the other co-founder. One of us is an NBA basketball player. Um, give you a hint, I'm not. So uh, we do this, like I said, one, once a month just to uh, keep you guys updated with the community, our Jedi Life community, about what we're doing. Right? We want you guys to stay healthy and active. We encourage you guys all to drink more water on a daily basis. If you guys don't know what Jug Life is, follow us on our Instagram. Check us out on um, on our website uh, for more information. We build water wells in Uganda. Uh, we educate kids about the importance of drinking water across the nation. Uh, Javel being from Flint, you know, water is very important to him. Uh, but tell the people. Don't let me talk for you. Let, let them know, man. Yeah, you, you told them everything. I, I know, I know, I know, man. I want to I definitely, I definitely want to say thank you to the donations down there. Um, oh, I didn't even. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, thank, um, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate that, guys. Um, yeah, but Jug Life Foundation, like you said, uh, we build water wells in Uganda. Uh, before COVID, we were going to Uganda every summer, um, and seeing the water wells that we've built, we built multiple water wells uh, for multiple villages um, and hundreds of people. Uh, we do school tours uh, where we teach kids um, the importance of drinking water and how to recycle their water bottles and uh, how many glasses of water they should be drinking a day and you inform them on the health benefits of water. Uh, what else do we do? That that also goes to schools around the world. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so, I, wanna, so I do want to jump into real quick like how uh, – being disciplined during the summer, right? Like you being healthy and active, uh, how do you stay on on track to, you know, just being an elite athlete and doing what you do? Like, how does that being disciplined and be, so you can be healthy and active work in your life? Uh, I mean, it's extremely disciplined, but a after a while, it doesn't become discipline. It just becomes a habit. Um, it just, it just becomes something you're used to. Um, just trying to eat healthy as healthy as possible. Obviously, I'm vegan, so but you still can eat bad and be vegan. So it's not right guaranteed. Like eating vegan is the healthy way to go. But trying to make sure I'm eating the right things. Uh, eating, drinking as much water as possible. Try to um, and 
Yeah, just making sure that I'm locked in. That's really what it, what it's about. Uh, just staying in shape, uh, working out every day, and just making sure I do the right things. Right now, speaking of vegan, did you see that uh, Beyond Meat launched their uh, new chicken nuggets? Yes, I saw that they launched their new chicken nuggets, and hence I am very, very close to the company. I already tasted them. What was that two years ago? No, it was more than that, man. Longer. It was yeah, longer. They just. Well, they finally released them, man. Like it's well, just, just to let y'all know, two years ago, uh, or when it, whenever we were in there, we went to the offices. Whew, them chicken nuggets taste like McDonald's chicken nuggets. When <laughs> I remember back in the day when I when, when I was a kid eating McDonald's chicken nuggets, they were everything to me. Right. Them, them Beyond Meat chicken nuggets, they taste like real chicken. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it, it's it's good. It's it tastes better than than uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> might even taste better now. I mean, we had them three years ago. Right, right. I, yeah, and then I, it was just, man, it, it was crispy, moist. Like, I, I don't want to go I don't want to go into to details. Y'all just got to try it, man. Jeez. I, I, trust me, you guys will not be disappointed with those Beyond Meat Nuggets, man. Like, they, they are amazing. All right, so um, just quick. We do activities, like Javel was saying earlier, about what we do, educating the kids and, and building water wells and things of that nature. But we also have fitness activities. And so we are having a yoga event tomorrow that I want to see everybody show up to. Where's the yoga event, Kaz? Can you tell the people where the yoga event is? It's and in, it is in Santa Monica, all right? It is, it is in Santa Monica at the beach. Um, if you if you sign up on our website at uh, www.jetlackwater.com, uh, there will be a link where you guys can sign up and uh, all the information of where the yoga will, will be, uh, location, so you guys don't get lost. We start at 10 o'clock, uh, and it's a good time, a great time. We do a raffle at the end of it. For the people that don't know and haven't been, like, where is this yoga going to be? Like, how is it going to be? Well, you said, how is it going to So the way... The way it is, is our, uh, our the trainer, yoga instructor, is what we call him, right? Uh, but uh, Christina, she literally takes us through an hour of poses, uh, uh, focusing on our, our mental health, our breathing exercises, uh, stretching. Are we, uh, are, we, are we in the stand? Are we on the street? Where are we? No, we're, we're in, <laughs> we're in the, uh, the location of, of Santa Monica on this. It's like the grass area overlooking where we're looking at the, the beach. You can oh. see the water. It's, well, it's, it's a vibe. It's like a vibe. Yeah, all, I, all you guys got to do is bring your yoga mats. That's it. Some and, water. And a good, water and a good, and a good time. Like, it, it's pull up. You know what they say, pull up. So that is tomorrow, 10 o'clock in Santa Monica, for those who are in L.A. Um, we want to take this on the road soon in different cities. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Supporters, when it comes to that, okay. Um, I want to move on to just real quick about sports. I know we talked about uh, the finals, but I also just because we're building a sports complex, and I, I got to keep bringing that up because something that's very who is we that's building a sports complex? So, Jet Life Foundation, we're partnering with Hope for Kids, uh, we're building the sports complex in Uganda, uh, and it is uh, going to be a state of the art facility. Uh, we're we're pr doing programs with the kids. Uh, basketball, um, two basketball courts, uh, soccer field, uh, netball, uh, and we're going to have a full locker room, uh, things of that nature for these kids. But the important thing about us is uh, the programming, right, when it comes to the youth. So we want to make sure that they have these opportunities that I had growing up where I wanted to play anything out and be are, anything. Are there facilities like this in the location that you're putting it in? No, there there isn't. We're going to we'll be able to uh, reach thousands and thousands of kids. We'll be able to grow the sport of basketball, uh, develop the sport of, of, of soccer, things of that nature uh, with this community. Uh, I don't know how I don't know if you know this answer to this question, but like in a square mile radius, oh, man, probably like a hundred like it's probably like a hundred mile radius of, of nothing. But that 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 compares to what we're trying to build. Right. And, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's more than that. the fact that we're able to do it for such a such a impoverished um, community is, is really amazing because you got to think in America, we there's a park in every city. Nice. There's an outdoor court in every city. There's a, a, a 
I want to say there's a pool in every city, but damn near. Mm -hmm. Out there in Uganda, nothing of a sort. So mm -hmm. think about the thousands and millions of kids who don't have the opportunities that kids like us, just even kids being from the hood in, in Michigan, at least we got a gym. Mm -hmm. we, can do, we got some courts we can go to. Mm -hmm. the opportunities that, that can that can come for, from these kids, from us building these sports complex is it, it, going to be amazing. It's going to be, and it's going to be to the fact that kids can now be, and it's not even go to the NBA, go to the WNBA, go wherever. It's not even about that. It's about teaching kids through sports the importance of teamwork and, 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 and working hard and things like that. And then some of these kids might actually be able to go to college because uh, they were working, they were at an AAU tournament in Uganda. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just different that they don't have that America has. Right. And what we're trying to do is is, is just truly amazing. And ho hopefully it, it pivots their their whole generation to a whole nother level. Yeah, I, I agree with you, man. Like, 100%, obviously. We, we, we do this because we, we want to do it. I mean, we, we want... We want to give back. We've we've done well in our lives, and, and it's more so giving back to to the community and and giving back to the kids and giving them the opportunities that I had. Youth sports plays played a pivotal role in my life as far as teaching me to work well with others. You know, I don't like I didn't like everybody on my team. I don't know. Did you growing up? I I definitely didn't. No, 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 no. no. Didn't even like my. I didn't. I played for coaches I didn't like, but at the end of the day, I, I played. I love the game. Uh, played it, played it well. Uh, learned to work well with others and to come together for one common goal. So I think that sports really teaches these kids and those type of op opportunities and those characteristics. And and like you said, like they can learn a, another trait or another skill outside of just the sport itself. And, and and people think when you when you do a sports complex, you're just like, oh, it's just so kids can play basketball and stuff. No, it's creating jobs also. Exactly. And you got coaches, you got people who have to clean the bathrooms, who wipe the court up, who clean the gym every night. Like, it's also bringing business and, 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 and job security to, to the community. Exactly. And that was the other thing I was going to bring up. People are talking about, oh, yeah, you're building the complex. But my biggest thing is sustaining it, right, and, and making sure that it's sustainable, right? And the programs that we were going to do there, as far as get, getting kids to and from, busing them to and from, you know, making sure that they're, they're safe, right? Getting after practice, the coaches, uh, jerseys, all that stuff, and it takes it takes a village to raise a kid. So, just it's a it's a big and big it's a big uh, venture, but hey, we're built for it. So for for sure, yeah, we're built for it. Okay, I want to wrap this up. Obviously, appreciate the time, man. I know you're busy. Uh, I wanted to ask, like, how much water did you drink today? Where, where are we at on your water level? Like. Uh... Yeah. I don't know, like three, 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 three twenty ounce bottles. Three ounce. Bottles. So we try to do this thing every Wednesday, guys. What called Water Wednesdays, where we encourage you guys to keep drinking water throughout the day. Uh, uh, the way I like to think about it is keep us as a, a accountability partner. We want to be your accountability partner, Jag Life, just to come in our our community. Uh, if you are have health questions or just want to stay drinking water and some not motivated to do it. Uh, tap in with us and we'll, we'll keep you motivated. All right. So I want to wrap up. Uh, thank you for watching mission possible with Javel and Kez. Uh, follow us on social media. We have our Instagram. I, oh, we, Oh, I don't even know if you know this, but we created a TikTok. Nope. Didn't know that at all. No, now I know. We just created, we just, yeah. <laughs> so we just created a TikTok too. Um, we have, you know, Facebook, all that good stuff. So just follow us. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys soon. All right. Uh, and I want to say appreciate uh, all the guys who donated uh, or girls, whatever you want. Definitely, man. Much appreciated. Appreciate the, the, the time you spent with us on this. Appreciate uh, the money as well. The donations means a lot, for real. Like, every little bit counts. So uh, talk to you guys soon. Uh, and I'm out. Be great, guys. Everybody stay positive, live life, and uh, drink water. Thank you.